What's up bitches, I am back and I've brought the music back with me because fuck it, it sounds awesome and becoming a partner is overrated anyway. Today's video is a video request by the Squash 30 he wanted me to do a review on the new Asia track pack on Dirt 3, so I'm putting this up for him. Um, yeah, so I played it, I haven't played Dirt in a while, I haven't played anything in a while, that's why I haven't posted anything up in weeks, because there's just been nothing out at the moment, it's, we're in a bit of a game of drought, which kind of sucks, um, no, it doesn't kind of suck, it sucks a lot, but, um, yeah, this came out, grabbed it, um, it's the fourth and hopefully final, is it the fourth or fifth, I forget, um, hopefully final DLC for Dirt 3, um, I'm getting a little bit over it myself, um, I jumped in, um, one thing that this has got going for it is it's only 400 Microsoft points, it is by far the cheapest um, DLC content that came out on Dirt 3, uh, well, probably the most efficient uh, for its price, I mean the actual car packs I think were worth more than that, but anyway, it comes with two tracks, four routes, which is just basically their way of trying to get out of saying that it's two tracks and you can do them forwards and backwards, which is all you're doing basically. Um, they're all, both of them are enclosed, both of them have this feel um, of, you know, the enclosed kind of city tracks. Um, there's like a short one, which probably takes about a minute 30 a lap, and then you've got the longer one, which is um, this one here. Um, actually, no, this one didn't really take that long, did it? The, actually, the other one... Uh, I thought this was a longer one. Anyway, I'm confused. Anyway, there's two. There's a shorter one and there's a longer one. Um, they're, all, they're both rallycross um, only uh, tracks. So you got the... Which is kind of a good idea because you had the Monte Carlo pack which was all just rallies. Um, and now you got the uh, this one here which is the rallycross just to mix it up a little bit. And I think it brings out um, four more Dirt Tour events. So one for each of the seasons. Um, again, it's just like, you do the two tracks, you do them each way, and then, you know, by the time you get to the last one, you, you do, you do two, two more, um, do them again, but you got to do, like, heaps of laps, um, I think it's like five for the long one and ten for the short one, um, that's basically the, you know, the depth of the, um, of the, of that kind of tour kind of thing, it's not very, um, exciting at all, um, probably gives you maybe, um, an extra couple of hours at most um, replayability. I mean, you got the four um, events. You got to do a time trial race in, on one of the tracks. Um, and if you ch choose the short track, that doesn't take very long at all. And then you got to win um, on the Shibuya track in um, a jam session, which, depending on your skill level and if you can boost or not, could you know change the how long that will take you. I went in and just rest some random and. Um, beat him so I got it um, but um, I just went one on one I found that was the best I created it myself and as soon as one person came in I just started it up so you've only got one opponent so if anyone else is out there is having trouble with that that's how I suggest to do it anyway um, I would recommend getting it I mean it gives you a couple more hours of playability the tracks are kind of cool um, and it's cheap 400 points so this is my quick review I hope you like it I'll catch you guys later